Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to unroot the Nexus S. Okay, before you begin this, we'll uh, return your phone back to the stock ROM and put you at build GRH78, which is the latest build at the time of writing this. Uh, you can use this method to start over and reroute, or you can use it to send in your phone for warranty reasons. Uh, you must have a custom recovery image in order to do this unrooting procedure. And you um, also must be aware that this will wipe everything off of your phone. So back up your contacts and sync them with Google and anything else that you want uh, to save. You should probably save to your computer just in case. Okay, so we're going to turn the phone off now. And we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume up and power. So we get the little green Android screen, then we can let go. We're going to scroll down to recovery using the volume keys and push power to select it. And wait for it to boot into recovery mode. Once you're in your custom recovery, you're going to scroll down to backup and restore. Backup and select it and wait for it to backup your current ROM. Okay, once it says backup complete, you're going to select reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot into normal mode. Okay, now you're going to download the stock Nandroid backup from here and save it to your computer and wait for that to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to right click it and extract all click extract wait for it to extract everything and we're just going to open that folder and double check that there's clockwork mod backup and we want this file or folder to be inside okay then we're going to plug our phone in via USB and on your phone you're going to push turn on USB storage so we can transfer files to it Okay, and then we're going to open the internal storage if it doesn't automatically pop up like mine did. And we're going to take this folder with everything inside of it and we're going to put it in here. Clockwork mod, backup, and see how you have a bunch of other ones? We're going to take this one and pull it over so that it's just like the other ones. It's the file inside the backup folder inside Clockwork mod on your internal SD card. And wait for that transfer. Okay, once that file is transferred, we're going to unplug our phone and then we're going to turn it off. Once it's off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume up and power. So we get the little green Android. Then we're going to go down and select recovery. Wait for it to boot into recovery mode. Okay, once you have recovery mode, I'm going to scroll down to backup and restore. And then you're going to select restore and select the 12, 22, 2106, etc. Whatever that file is or folder that you put on there just now, we're going to select that. Go down to restore and wait for that to restore. Okay, once it says restore complete, we're going to hit reboot system now and wait for it to reboot. Okay, now once the phone does reboot, we're going to actually turn it off. And we're going to turn it right back on. And what that does is that's going to reflash our recovery image to the stock recovery image. Now we can continue from there. Okay, once the phone reboots this time, you're going to go through the setup process really quick. You can just hit skip whenever possible. Then we're going to hit menu, settings, applications, uh, development, 
and then we're gonna make sure USB debugging is checked on. Click OK. Now that's checked, hit home, and we can go to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna plug in our phone via USB. We're not going to turn on USB storage, just hit home on your phone. And then we're going to open a command prompt on the computer by hitting the start menu and then typing CMD in the search bar, hitting enter. And now we're gonna type what's written underneath this video in the procedure. You don't have to try to read it from the video itself. Can we type that line in ADB reboot bootloader? The phone should reboot itself into bootloader mode. So wait for it to do that. Once the little green Android's on your phone, and it says fast boot mode at the top of the screen, we can go to the next step. Fast boot OEM lock. And it should just say total time less than a second done. Okay, so after you've done typing that, it should show on your phone here, lock state, locked. Once you've done that, you are completely back to stock, your bootloader's locked, your recovery image should be back to normal. Um, you're all set, you can either send the phone in for warranty, or you can now go to our how to root procedure and reroute the phone and start over.